Morning everyone, I am in my local woods again today and uh, we're well into autumn. We've got uh, a day which is very flat light. We've had a bit of mist this morning, it's still lingering a bit. So the, the light's really soft. Um, I'm just gonna do a photo walk around my woods. So I, I walk here all the time for dog walks with Barney. And um, I just wanna capture a little bit of that change, changing colors, uh, the greens and the kind of browns and golds and uh, yeah, and I'm using my medium format camera and a roll of Portra 400 because it's got nice, soft, subtle colours. So I just thought it would work well with this soft lighting. And uh, yeah, hopefully by keeping it all in the same area, same lighting conditions, at the end of it we might have sort of, um, well, up to 10 shots, which will work quite nicely as a little set together. So yeah, let's go. So I'm just gonna just swap this to an upright composition. Um, what I really like is the, well obviously you've got the tree on the left, you've got the, the bench at the bottom right, but we've got this really graphical element top right with the branches, they're really twisted and they look really good and they're kind of looming down towards this bench. So that's what I really like about the, about the shot. It's fairly, it's fairly evenly lit. We've got a few hot spots coming through, just a couple of little bits where it's poking through with the, with the background sky. So looking at the metering of this, the darkest part is the bottom of the tree. So that's about 5.6 and the grass towards the bottom is about f8 so that's a stop brighter and then the foliage a little bit further up the scene gets a bit brighter about another stop stop and a half so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop down from the bottom of the tree so effectively go from five six to f8 because then that's one stop under at the bottom of the tree so that will still have lots of detail in it So with this shot, I want to shoot that low hanging branch. It's got some beech leaves that are turning and they're slightly backlit and it's just trying to find the right angle for it. So I think I'm going to go through some other leaves and just pick up that little splash of color that's coming through and almost like circled by the green. This is quite nice where these beech leaves have just collected in this tree trunk here. It's like a sort of natural bowl. And we've got the, the green of the, uh, the tree trunk and the, the golden colors of the beech leaves. So I think I might just get a, a shot just looking straight down. It's pretty simple, but it's quite nice. I think to get as much detail in as possible, I'm gonna stop right down. So shoot it on quite a small aperture get as much of that detail in there as it's a bit of a study. So I'm gonna stick it back on the tripod.
Okay, so the darkest part, right in the cracks of the leaves where it's really dark. It's one second F11, so I'm gonna stop it down to one second F16, because the, the main leaves are about two stops brighter, so I don't mind them going over a little bit. Okay, so one second F16. Let's get my feet out of the way. Cool. So it is slightly annoying to have to use the tripod all the time and pack it up as I move on but um, it is pretty dark in here and I certainly can't hand hold things at one second um, so yeah to keep getting it out and putting it away again come on in come on so what I love about this is the fact that all these leaves have kind of dropped and all just collected on these ledges all the way down. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of the, the sweep of orange against the green, which is just really nice. It's just kind of deciding what angle to take it from. I could go straight on and that works well, but I might just, I think I'm just gonna go from here because it kind of splits quite nicely and I just keep quite a, a wall of green and then we've got this, uh, this divide of the leaves, which is lovely. I'm gonna to have to go back on the tripod again though. So this is just a little bit down from that last shot. I've always liked this tree here with these exposed roots. And uh, I've only ever photographed it on my phone. And I keep waiting for the ideal conditions. I don't know if I've got the ideal conditions today, but um, it's nice and soft. So yeah, we'll get a shot here. It's a bit wide for my lens because I've got, I've got a kind of standard lens on. So I could do with something a bit wider, but Maybe if I go back, I'll try and get most of this in. So I've decided to go this way. I just want to keep this um, fresh growth of beech down the bottom here. It's, it's quite bright. It looks quite vibrant compared to the rest of it. Um, obviously, I want to try and keep as much detail in the tree because that's the important part. Um, but I quite like the diagonal composition and the beech, the sort of brighter beech against the darker backdrop is quite nice. So. We'll go this way and also I want to try and cut out that other beach. Unfortunately nature has um, put another tree right next to it and I kind of didn't really want it in there so um, we'll go this way. So metering for the tree trunk, um, some of the really dark parts are about one second at f8. So I'm going to uh, stop down as one, step, one second at f11 and so if I take that into consideration, the beech leaves will be about two and a half stops over, but they're quite bright, so I'm gonna let them go over because I still wanna keep that detail in. So I'm gonna go one second at uh, F11.
They've only just come down a few feet from the last place, but I'm going to take one last shot here. I really do like the way these beech leaves have just collected in these in this root system. So this time I'm going to go a little, just a little bit more squarer on because we've got these definite um, browns and oranges and the green of the of the lichen of the tree. So yeah, it's just. It's a complementary colours type thing, so, and I think it'll go well with the other shot that I took uh, as a pair, so yeah, go for this. So this is a really simple image. I just wanted to break it down into just something that's just totally uncomplicated. It's just this beach. It's coming into the top of the frame, um, going over beach leaves on the ground and not much in between, just a, just a kind of wall of green. I'm not too worried about having too much detail or even too much color in there. So I've metered off the beach leaf and it's given me a 30 foot four. I'm gonna open up, uh, give it a 15th for F4 and, uh, and we'll go with that. Just wait till that wind dies down. So this is one of my last shots of the day. I actually walked past this earlier this morning and I thought about taking a shot there and then, but I thought I'll always come back to it I've, unless I see something that's sort of similar and this, um, further in the woods. But I didn't, I didn't come across anything like it. It's an oak tree and the leaves are just browning. They're halfway browned still on the branches and it just looks great because the, the, the insides are green and then the tips and the outer bit are brown. And I haven't seen it at all in there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get a shot here. This one's hanging low enough and it, the background is the corner of the road. There's, a, there's basically a, a crossroads there. So you can see a little bench poking out and a signpost, but um, I'm gonna have to shoot it quite uh, wide open because there is a bit of breeze here. And I'm just gonna focus on that middle leaf uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the others. I just I just need one really nice and sharp. So probably all I can do is shoot it on F4 and hopefully it'll be about 60th of a second, something like that.
So thanks very much for watching again. That is me done for another one. And uh, let me know what you thought of the pictures in the comments. It really helps if I can get a bit of feedback. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, then do it for Barney, if not for me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.